Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have a mail day from Switzerland. How sweet is that? I think this is from Fi. Not sure, I'm just gonna open it up, but I think it's from Fi, and he's from the Legions of Urborg, a playgroup in uh, in Switzerland. So if you happen to be if you happen to live in Switzerland or are close by to the Swiss border, I'll put a link to their details, to their blog and their Insta below. And wow, look at this really well packaged. Got some nice cardboard. That's pretty good. Thank you, Five, for doing that. And you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to spoil. Okay, okay, okay. So open it up. <laughs> this is hard not to not to spoil. I'll put it. Wow, there's a whole there's a whole letter. Let me let me read it. Okay, so wow, I mean look at this. Let's let's read the tale, shall we? Urborg became the final resting place of many swordsmen of renown. They're still outmatched by the wits of Gwendolyn. But alas, she twisted the winds of many mages too. Occasionally, a member of the Institute of Arcane Studies acquired a taste for worldly pleasures. Hey, I recognize this flavor text. Thus, the prodigal sorcerer known as Tim became enthralled by her charms and ventured into the lands of Urborg to impress her with his prowess. To his dismay, the si she simply countered his advantage, saying, You have to get more creative than that. The terror of her rejection hit him so hard that he challenged her in return. Give me your best shots, were his final words as she released a great pestilence that ravaged the known lands for the better part of two years. That kind of sounds like the Tim. He wouldn't really think about it. He would just challenge her, definitely. Battle doesn't need a purpose. The battle is its own purpose. You don't ask why a plague spreads or a field burns. Don't ask why I fight. Tales of Fi, Black Knight of Urborg. That Fi, that is some sweet writing. I'm going to keep this card, definitely. Thank you so much for this tale. And uh, here we see some of the cards that he sent my way. And uh, let's rip it off to give you a closer look. So there we go. Let's try to free them. And um, I've actually met Fi at a tournament when we could still play face to face. It was a lot of fun. He had a really cool um, Legends deck. With actually, that, wait a minute, wait a minute. I played you and you beat me. <laughs> And in your deck, you had Gwendolyn. So, wow, this kind of sounds like the battle we had. I played my Timmy Spellbook deck. I think I, yeah, I think I did. And uh, I think your Legends deck worked pretty good. I think it wasn't in blue, black, and red, I believe. I think those were the colors. Um, okay, so here we've got some cards. And the cool thing is, um, he contacted me... Um, on, I think on Instagram, and he said, you know, um, are you collecting uh, revised still? Because I can help you out. I've got a couple of cards that I don't really play. And then I said, well, I'm actually collecting fourth edition as well. And he told me, oh, I've got some nice fourth cards. So thank you very much for sending this my these my way. And these are definitely going uh, in my collection. So we see a nice trike, nice fourth edition trike. Which is, it's so nice it's in 4th edition because it kind of makes it playable, right? If you want to play this. The Antiquities version really, really ticked up lately. But this one is still very affordable, so that's good. Um, and then we have a beautiful Goblin King. I always like the flavor text of Goblin King. Um, to become a king of, king of the goblins, one must assassinate the previous king. Thus, only the most foolish seek position of leadership. Right? How cool is that? So... Anyway, it's not really the best spot to be in. But Goblin King, uh, two red and one, a summon lord. But the errata is that it's also a goblin. And all goblins gain mountain walk and plus one, plus one. And it's a two, two body as well. And then we've got, ooh, this kind of like a stack of cards, it seems. Let's see if I can. 
cut the tape off. There we go. Let me get the scissors. And if you watch the channel, you know I'm a big fan of Mind Twist. <laughs> but I'm really happy to uh, to own one. So Mind Twist, one black and X. I think this is really, you know, power card number 10. Uh, sorcery. Target player discards X cards at random from his or her hand. If that player does not have enough cards, his or her entire hand is discarded, right? Um, oh, do I see a Tim here? That is sweet. Oh, and it's got some writing. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to pronounce this, but if you're if you're Dutch, you probably know what this means. <laughs> oh, and it's a German Timmy. Great, like, ah, Gwendolyn. Look like he put some writing here. Gwendolyn de Corchi. Oh, man, sweet, 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 sweet. I like your style, Fi. I like your style. Oh, these are all, oh, look at that. Nice. You have to get more creative than that. So these link to the story. Give me your best shot. That's what Tim says. And here's the pestilence. Oh, look at that. Brutal. Brutal. Everything starts to connect. Wow. And this is Fi, the Black Knight of Urborg. Man, who knew that you're so creative? That is pretty cool. So the cards here, they link to this to the story. And of course that links to actually reality because I think it's been, has it been two years? No, it hasn't been two years that we, that we, that we played that tournament together. A year maybe, um, something like that. But really, really very creative. So this is you, Fi, the Black Knight. Um, and then these are really, really cool cards. Um, Look at this army of Allah. I mean, this is just such a nice, just beautiful, beautiful artwork. And I also think the card is quite useful if you use it in a um, um, in specific strategies. Of course, white weenie is useful, but um, also in a, a token strategy. And I'm just really happy to own both of these two beautiful army of Allahs and uh, one white and one to cast. And that was kind of nice to see, um, in case you didn't know, there are two versions of uh, the Arabian Nights cards. One has the light symbol and one is the darker symbol in the casting cost. And I believe the light symbol is a little bit more valuable um, for some reason. I actually always thought the darker would be more valuable as I kind of thought that was more standing out uh, when you compare it to other sets, but apparently the lighter one has more value. Uh, I really, really like the art of this. I mean, look at that, it's just stunning. Uh, card from Arabian Nights, two white and one, it's an instant. And what it does is all attacking creatures gain plus two, plus oh, until end of turn. And this card is really nice when you combine it, for example, of course, with a lot of smaller creatures, but also with first strike. So it actually goes really well with the White Knight or other cards with first strike, with Tundra Wolves, uh, pikemen even so there are a lot of interesting um you know synergies and connections to make with this card and i personally like instance always a lot more than for example crusade which is an enchantment when you have the enchantment on the board um you know your opponent has so much information but with an army of allah and instant you can just you know play that army out of nowhere and kind of finish your opponent or win an important uh, uh in an important blocking situation so i think it's quite nice um, okay, this is it. This is the mail day uh, for today. It's a short one, but it's it's a very, very cool one. And um, yeah, I mean, this story, absolutely epic. Thank you, Fi, for, uh, for sending this out to me. Uh, I'm looking forward. I hope to see you again soon in person and we can drink some more beers and I can... Uh, you know, play uh, against uh, Gwendolyn again. You know, I want to. I want to try to. I think my deck should be able to at least win one match or one game. I think I lost. <laughs> I lost all the games against you, but we. I really can't remember that much, to be completely honest. But um, thank you very much, man. Thank you for for sending this. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon. Uh, I hope all is well with you over there in Switzerland. Uh, and I'd like to also thank you, the viewer, for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, if you want to support the channel, you probably know what to do already. In case you don't, uh, leave a like, 
you know, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this beautiful story. Let me know what you think of Switzerland. What do you think of playing magic in Switzerland? Have you ever done that? Would you like to do that? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you want more information about the Legion of Urborg, I'll put a link in the comments below as well. Um, what else can you do? Of course, you can subscribe. If you're not a subscriber yet, that really, really helps the channel moving forward. And what you can also do is you can become a patron on Patreon and you can become a sponsor of this channel and of the show. So if you enjoy the content that I make, maybe sponsoring the show is something for you. It already starts with one so you can check it out if you want to, of course. For now, thank you for watching and let's take a look at the end scroll and let's take a look at all the amazing, fantastic, wonderful, wunderbar channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.